Hello and welcome to LabGab, a talk show about the virtual world of Second Life. I'm your host, Strawberry Linden. Today on our show, we are speaking with Casper Warden of Casper Tech and Second Life's VP of Product Operations, Patch Linden. Welcome to the show, Casper and Patch. Why, hello. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. How about you, Casper? Yeah, pretty good. Excellent. Thank you, thank you. So we just did, did a big announcement about half an hour ago, uh, letting our residents know that we have acquired Casper Tech. Before we get into that announcement, uh, I'd like to learn more about Casper Tech and the history and learn more about you, Casper. Uh, how did you find out about Second Life and how long have you been here? So um, I first discovered Second Life back in 2006, I think, so nearly 16 years ago. Wow. Uh, at that time, I was working at my first job after school um, for a production company in Brighton. And just by pure coincidence, we were quite near to Linden Labs UK offices at the time. Um, the directors of the company I was working for had sort of become familiar with uh, some of the Linden Lab team and, uh, you know, and Second Life itself. So they were quite interested in the platform. Uh, and they asked me to join Second Life and sort of assess whether it would be a good fit for their company. Initially, I was kind of a bit confused by it all because I didn't really understand what it was all about. You know, um, it wasn't like anything I'd really experienced before. Um, it felt, it felt kind of like a game, but also at the same time, not really like a game. I remember going up to people and asking, "How do you play this? What, <laughs> what are the goals? How do you win?" Yeah. Uh, but soon enough, I sort of began to understand how it all works and and the flexibility and the power of the platform, and uh, I started making content for it. At first, it was just um, promotional content for the company I was working for at the time. But after a while, I started moving into my own stuff. So I know um, Casper Tech has provided various business-related services within Second Life for 13 years now. How did you get the idea of starting this endeavor? Uh, well, <laughs> it was entirely unplanned. Um, so I, I initially created Casper Vend, uh, the vending system, back in 2009 for my own use. Um, I had some, I think I had some crappy t-shirts <laughs> or something which I wanted to sell. And uh, I didn't like some aspects of the uh, other vending solutions on the market. So um, I made my own because they, they were kind of, they were really script heavy and I didn't like the way that the vendors scrolled through the products. Uh, so I built my first version of Casper Venn just for my own store. Oh. And uh, I quickly realized that people were, were more interested in the vendors than the things I was selling, which I guess in <laughs> hindsight, <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have been too surprised by that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I launched Casper Venn version one to the general public. Um, I didn't really conduct any kind of marketing or promotion at the time, but Despite that, somehow word caught on and the popularity of the system just grew organically and we just continued to expand to meet customer needs. So what are some of the services uh, that Casper Tech offers? Uh, so our bread and butter is probably the Casper Venn vending system. It's the thing that we've been doing right from the start, yeah. uh, which has grown to be you know, the most popular in-world vending system over time. Um, but also our rental system, Casperlet, is also pretty ubiquitous within Second Life. Um, we've got a security orb, Caspersafe, uh, which uh, provides enhanced parcel privacy, Casper Update, which allows creators to push updates to their customers in real time, and the Res2, which is a fast and reliable build packager. And there have been one or two other scripted gadgets along the way, but these things are our main fare. Wow, you're involved involved in a lot of different areas. So let's talk about the acquisition now. Uh, Patch, can you tell us more about how and why this acu acu acquisition came about? Sure. Um, well, it was a little while back now. Uh, mm -hmm. Casper and I were chatting about various things. And uh, as I've been a user and a bit of a fan of Casper's products, um, not only for my own use, but also for Linden use uh, for quite some time. Uh, I thought to myself about how wonderful it might be to take uh, the awesome system that Casper has built uh, so well and advance it beyond what it is capable of even today. The possibilities of things like tighter integration with Second Life and its systems came to mind. 
Mm -hmm. uh, and ensuring the long-term stability along with continuing to add features and make improvements all of a sudden became a clear future. And while all of that was rattling around in my head, I just had to approach him to see <laughs> if there was any interest in doing something more together. And well, here we are. Uh, you know, I I think that the the overall line of products that Casper has, and and especially um, as he mentioned just a minute ago, uh, with uh, his land and leasing parcel management system, um, will will bring a, a, a lot of uh, capabilities uh, to the table in the future. Well, I love it. I love that we're getting more um, you know, options for these kind of services. So what can residents expect currently and also in the future as a result of this acquisition? So firstly, it's, it's really important to make clear that um, customer tech services will continue to operate. Um, it's really critical to, to us that our customers don't get disrupted. Mm -hmm. um, so currently it's business as usual, except with the support and resources of Linden Lab behind us. Uh, so, you know, in, over the years, many third party merchant services like the ones I run have shut down or disappeared. But um, now that now our customers can be assured that their customer tech services aren't just going to suddenly disappear. Um, as for the future, well, this move presents plenty of exciting opportunities to improve the service and to integrate it more closely with the Second Life experience. And I think residents can expect significant quality user experience and functionality improvements as a result of that. Yes, everything he said. <laughs> and as I also mentioned earlier, uh, I see a, a really bright future for the entire line of Casper Tech products to continue. Nice. Uh, it was e yeah, it was equally important to myself and the entire Linden team that as a foundation for moving forward that we would not interrupt or change what you know and love about the Casper products today. They will continue for the foreseeable future just as they are now. Uh, our promise is to make them better, improve, and do additive work to them. The goal is to inherently give Second Life residents the tools they need to be successful in what they do, and that includes the powerful business-related tools that Casper has built uh, and put a lot of love into over the years. That's great to hear. So Casper, in what way will your involvement with Casper Tech continue? Well, say, so, you know, I, I'm a software engineer. It's how I started with all this, and it's my main interest. It's, it's my calling, as, as you were. Mm -hmm. uh, but as Casper Tech has expanded, uh, yeah, you know, and we've taken on more and more customers, I found increasingly less and less time on my hands to really spend on the code. And because of this, many highly requested features have kind of sat on the back burner. Um, but this move gives me an opportunity to really get back to what I love and what I'm good at, which is developing the service. Um, so I'm really looking forward to working with Linden Lab to help the products reach their full potential. Wonderful. Looking forward to that as well. So what are the next steps for each of you, Patch? Well, uh, for myself and, and Lyndon, uh, I think we'll start working with Casper to transition the service uh, internally. Uh, we, we hope for that to be completely invisible to everyone, uh, because in my opinion, if it is, then uh, we know we've done a good job doing what we needed to do there. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there, uh, we'll get to work with Casper to add and bring more of those features online that we hope everyone will love. How about you, Casper? Uh, yeah. Yep, exactly that. Um, so, as I said, I'm looking forward to being able to spend more time on the technical stuff and working with the lab to migrate and improve our infrastructure. I'm still going to be online and around in the group chat, monitoring and helping to keep everything running. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to dive into some new features really soon. This sounds so wonderful. I'm really excited to see this happen and, and watch it grow even more. Um, I don't have any more questions left. I do want to give a moment to you, both of you to add anything else you want to say. But I do want to also tell the viewers that are watching that if you have more questions about this acquisition, you can click on over to our forum discussion about this topic and add your questions in there, which I think Patch will be answering. So if you look in the description of this video, you'll see the link to the forum discussion. Make sure you click on over and, and add your thoughts or questions or anything you might want to know about this. So uh, in closing, let's leave Casper, if, is there anything else that you wanted to add for the viewers? Um, only really that I'd like to say a massive thank you to all of you and uh, 
for the continued support of all of our customers, as well as to the Casper Tech support staff who have really kept the show running all these years. We wouldn't really be here without you. Uh, you're awesome. Wonderful. How about you, Patch? Yeah, uh, and just add on, I, I, we will be around. Um, actually, both myself and Casper uh, will we'll kind of pop into the forum post uh, as we can um, uh, and answer any questions. And, you know, I, I do hope that everyone will see that we genuinely care about how this goes forward and that we look forward to supporting the Casper Tech products and community. Um, uh, and along with a huge thank you to everyone involved uh, with it to date um, and echoing what Casper said. Wonderful. So excited to see this happening. Thank you so much, Patch and Casper, for taking the time to speak to me today. And thanks to our viewers for watching. And remember to stay safe and stay virtual. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>